Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the new and used car market and whether or not the pricing bubble is about to burst. It's been a talk with a bunch of people recently, and so I figured I'd make a video on it. And so, yeah, let's just dive right into it. So, before we get into whether or not the bubble is about to burst, we have to go over some facts and figures so that we can accurately look at the situation, right? Uh, so, first off, since March of 2020, uh, used car values have had an inflation rate of almost 40%, which is just crazy. New cars, on the other hand, just under 9%. And so, as you can see, car values are up, you know, across the board, right? Apparently, the U.S. inflation rate since then is like 6.3%, which seems kind of weird to me because it seems like the inflation rate's been way higher than that. I feel like they're underquoting that. But anyways... Used cars have definitely inflated at a much higher rate uh, compared to a lot of other uh, just, you know, items and asset classes and all that kind of stuff, again, since uh, 2020. Now, that being said, new cars, on the other hand, haven't gone up all that much. Um, it's pretty standard for new cars to inflate every single year, especially if an automaker releases a brand new model or a complete redesign on a car, uh, then the prices jack up quite a bit, sometimes as much as like four, five, six percent. So, you know, the 8.9% is still, uh, you know, higher than normal, but it's not as crazy as the 40% we're seeing with uh, used cars. Now, the other thing to go over is how many new cars are being sold. This is actually going to show the overall health of the market because every single year, about the same amount of used cars are purchased. It's somewhere in the 30 to 40 million uh, transactions a year, roughly, whereas new cars right? That kind of ebbs and flows based on what's happening with the economy and car values and all that kind of stuff. So prior to the pandemic, every single year, the auto industry was roughly selling about 17 million cars in the U.S. per year. Then post-pandemic, right, 2020 as the first year, then we sold about 14 and a half million cars. And then 2021, it's about 15 million. And right now, everyone's predicting that 2022 is going to be about 15.5, maybe 16 million. But it's you probably going to look up like 2021 from a sales uh, perspective. So that means we're still going to be about two to two and a half million uh, sales lower than what we were prior to the pandemic. So what that most likely means, right? And I guess that's, uh, that'll give you guys an answer pretty quick in this video. But I'm still going to kind of dive into things a little bit more. Um, is that how the market is right now will probably continue through 2022 at this point. We're not going to see a bubble burst right away. Again, anything could happen. Uh, and there are some other things that are happening right now with the uh, used market in terms of trading values that I do want to go over in this video. Uh, but that's kind of like the broad scope is that the, you know, quote unquote market bubble is not going to burst right away. But Let's get into some more stuff. Uh, so the other thing to go over is uh, the transaction values with trade-ins uh, with used cars, and those have actually been uh, going down, uh, believe it or not. Um, what has been happening is, uh, you know, used cars have been sitting on uh, dealership lots for longer than they were before. And so obviously that is going to affect the values of these vehicles because dealerships don't want to have these cars forever. And so dealerships are actually now offering less money for trade-ins. And so this is going to slow down uh, the inflation rate uh, with used car values. And so I think uh, what's going to happen based on what's happening with these trade-ins and then what's happening with the slight ramping up with uh, vehicle production for 2022 is again, bubbles not going to burst, car values aren't just going to like plummet and you know you're going to be able to pick up cars for next to nothing but uh, we're probably not going to see the increase in car values like we did throughout 2020 and then throughout 2021 it's pretty much just going to be you know mostly flatline for this year um there might be you know slight increases and decreases with certain vehicles depending on the supply and demand with those particular vehicles uh, but it's pretty much going to look flat uh, based on uh, again the trade-in stuff and then also based on the uh, vehicle sales and everything and that is pretty much uh, what's going to be happening with the used car market. So if you guys want uh, kind of my advice on the used car market, at least uh, here's what I have to say. If you're looking to sell a car, uh, and I've said this in prior videos, I would sell it sooner rather than later um, because like I said, trading values seem to be slightly decreasing every single month. Uh, and so the value you're able to sell your car for is probably not going to be the same in a few months from now. It's probably going to be a little bit uh, less. It could potentially be the same, but then also we still having crazy money inflation rates right now. And so if your car sells for the same amount in three months from now, but you know, the dollar is worth a lot less then it's kind of like, well, you still technically lost money, right? Um, so if you don't need the car 
and you've been thinking about selling it, I would jump on that right now uh, because like I said, those are going down. Now, on the new car side of things, um, I think that, again, the rates with those, uh, it seems like they've been pretty uh, steady in terms of the increase. And I think that increase is still going to go throughout uh, 2022 just because of labor shortages, right? Supply shortages, and then all the supply chain issues with shipping and everything. And that's just going to continue throughout this year. It's putting a lot of stress on auto manufacturers. And so that's, uh, you know, added stress is being transferred to the customers with slightly higher vehicle prices. And then obviously dealerships are taking advantage of the situation. I don't see this as, I know a lot of people see this as a negative thing and they're talking about how they're never going to buy from these dealerships that are charging crazy amounts for vehicles right now in this market. Uh, I'll make another video on that. Um, but you know what? They're a business just like any other and they're in a special situation right now where they can make a little bit of extra profit. And so, you know, if people are going in and paying those prices for vehicles, then ultimately, right, it's on the customers. The dealerships are going and doing what any business does, right? They try to get the most money they can for their product. And if someone is willing to pay that amount of money for their product, then they'll take it. If nobody, right, the only way that you could, you know, curtail this completely is if people just stop paying the prices, but that's obviously not happening. Um, so I think it's silly to blame the dealerships, but uh, personal opinion aside from that, new car values throughout this year are still going to uh, stay at an all-time high with dealerships. So uh, most new cars, you're still gonna be seeing them going for over MSRP throughout this entire year, uh, especially specialty vehicles. So if you're looking at buying uh, anything that is a little bit more unique, rare, uh, is a new vehicle for this year, right? So for example, you know, the Ford Bronco Raptor that might be coming out this year, the new Hummer EV, the Ford F-150 Lightning, if it's anything like that, that's a new vehicle for this year, uh, if you don't have a really good relationship with the dealership, then expect that if you want it right now, you're probably going to have to pay uh, over MSRP for that. And uh, that trend, like I said, is going to continue throughout this year. Um, I don't think that the new vehicle trend is going to go downwards until everything gets figured out. Now, if you guys are wondering, in terms of my opinion, when this is all going to kind of level out, this is 100% just personal opinion section, uh, just based on the research that I've done uh, and how the numbers are slightly increasing. I think that by the end of, and this is pretty far off, right? The end of 2023 is probably the most realistic time scale for car values to really kind of uh, level out. Um, of course, the cat jumps up there because he wants attention. Uh, here's what I kind of see is, again, the used car values are slightly going down with trade and value uh, every single month by a slight amount. I think that's trend is going to continue uh, and it'll eventually level off throughout the rest of this year and somewhat into 2023. Um, I don't think that used car values will ever be quite as low as they were pre-pandemic because of the inflation we've seen. Um, but I think that used car values aren't going to, again, see the increase they've had over the last uh, year and a half, two years, uh, roughly. So we're going to kind of see a calm down with that, a slight decrease. And then I think that used car values will then go through the regular depreciation uh, curve. But um, you want certain cars, especially again, specialty vehicles, uh, those will always have crazy values and you'll never be able to pick them up for as cheap as you would have been able to pick them up uh, prior to the pandemic. A really good example would be like a Mustang GT350. You'll probably never be able to find a GT350 for under $50,000 unless it's a salvage title uh, like you could prior to the uh, pandemic. Um, and then in terms of, and so like that's what's gonna happen to used cars, in terms of new cars, I see production being able to fully be ramped up probably by the end of next year where we're able to have, you know, 17 plus million vehicle sales like we were prior to the pandemic where there's enough production to keep up with the demand and, you know, maybe too much production from certain manufacturers and then values kind of go down a little bit. And so I think by the end of next year, you're finally going to see the prices fully calm down where you're able to buy regular vehicles at MSRP uh, and all that. Now that's going to sum things up for today's video going over the values of uh, vehicles and you know whether or not the uh, bubble is going to pop and I guess to give like one final thought I don't think that there's actually going to be a bubble pop I think it's just going to be a gradual shift uh, in terms of values and production and all that and so more realistically what's going to happen is you're going to slightly see the prices of new cars come down month by month you're going to slightly see the prices of used cars come down month to month until they reach an equilibrium to where everything makes sense uh, once production's ramped up and everything 
and you know again the supply and demand thing just kind of calms down a little bit and so it's going to be less of a burst and more of just like this slow sliding in uh to a you know more of a regular market basically but if you're stopping for the first time please subscribe comment down below what you think and i will see all of you in that next video